What's going on guys? It's Risky here. Welcome to Farming Simulator 19. I am very excited to be bringing you guys this video here today. Uh, I've been waiting for this game for quite some time now and it's finally out. I pre-ordered it like a couple weeks ago and uh, I've just been watching that timer go down and down and down uh, and finally I'm here on the main screen. Boom. Farming Simulator 19. So what this video is going to be is kind of like a first look video and also the start of my Let's Play series. So uh, if you, I hope this video decides or helps you decide if you do want to get this game or not. Uh, so, like, if you haven't purchased a game yet, I hope this video can help you decide if you want to get it or not. Um, I've been playing it for about an hour now, just messing around, buying different stuff, selling, and just making a bunch of money, um, just selling everything, and just trying out a couple of the vehicles and getting used to this game because it's much different from Farm Simulator uh, 17. Just the driving feels a lot better and stuff, and a lot different. But let's get straight into this. So what we can choose from here is career, multiplayer, tutorials, mods, trophies, and all that nonsense. Um, but there is one thing I do want to mention real quick. There is some weird glitch in on my game. Uh, when I go, I'll show you guys once I get into like an actual game um, on our farm. There's like half the HUD will be off my screen in some parts of the HUD. It's not like terrible, but like I'll show you once we get in there. I don't know if it's the same on the recording, but on my screen, what I'm seeing, it's kind of like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and select career. There's nothing for mods yet. I mean, there's a few things like like purchasable, like there's a John Deere in there, but it's I clicked on it. It says not available for purchase in the PlayStation Store. So yeah, we're not going to worry about that. I was just messing around with these two save games, but we're going to go over here to save game number three. And we're probably going to go with New Farmer, just because it's going to be a little bit easier. I'm not a pro at Farming Simulator. Um, I know Daggerwin and all those guys know much, much more about this game than I do. Uh, I know a little bit on some stuff, and I know a little bit about tractors and everything, but I'm not a pro. And I think this will be the easiest just to help us start off the series and just for a first look if you are new to farm sim. Uh, all right, so we're going to select New Farmer. It says, you already own land and some equipment in Ravenport. We'll teach you. Uh, how to play farming simulator so we're gonna click on that we got Felsbrunn and Ravenport this is the American map this is the I don't know where this is at probably somewhere in Europe or something like that but I live in America and I obviously want to play on the American map because why not uh, we can change our character here I think he looks pretty good the way he is actually um, so yeah we'll do that the Sunglasses, you can do that. You can do a jacket. Uh, you can change your hat to multiple different things, but I'll just keep it as a Massey Ferguson one. I was looking for John Deere, actually. All right, yeah, we'll just go back to the Massey Ferguson. Um, you have different hairstyles, but uh, those aren't really anything important. Obviously, you don't really, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we'll just go with this. Our name's Risky13 up there. You can change that if you want, but I'll just leave it as that because it doesn't really matter. These are the DLC I have. is the New Holland T6 Blue Power and the Mahindra Retriever 1000. Okay, so here we are. We finally loaded in. It took a little bit, um, but anyways, it says right here, Welcome to Farming Simulator. Would you like to start a short guided tour? This will show you the basics of the game. I'm going to hit no because I basically know the basics of the game. Um, if you'd like to start the guided tour, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, look up there in the top right corner. I don't know if it's the same for you guys on recording. I'll probably see you once I'm editing this video. But the last digit of the $100,000 um, doesn't show up. So the last zero, it's not on my screen. And half of the map down there is like off my screen. Well, the M isn't even on my screen. So uh, I, I can get over that. That's nothing. That's not a big deal. I'll probably try and figure that out eventually. But this is our starting farm on the new farmer game mode. You get this little barn right here. I'm pretty sure this doesn't actually do anything. I think it's just a looks because you can buy um, like things that make your farm look cool. Uh, this is your farmhouse down here. These are just some more sheds that add to um, just, just make your farm look more alive. You know, you get your silos and everything over there. We'll check out the farmhouse here. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here that's interactable, but we'll go ahead and turn on our help window. Yeah, you can, you can sleep in here, I'm pretty sure, yeah. You can hit L3 to sleep, which is a nice feature, because I used to hate that in FS17. You would just have to, like, uh, speed up the time, and it would just screw up all your um, your builds. Not your builds, what am I talking about? All your, uh, your, your growth on your farm, so it would just make everything go by super fast when you didn't want it to. But, as you see, we own uh, Field 19, 24, 25, and 26. 
Um, so that's pretty good for starting fields. Uh, they're all really small, which is um, pretty nice actually just to start off with. That means you don't have any huge fields like number 8 or field number 5 and stuff like that. And also in this game, you don't just buy fields, you buy land, which is really nice. I'll probably show you that later on. Uh, but also I want to show you the starting vehicles that you start off with here on um, the new farmer mode. So you start off with this Polymag Cultivator, this um, 7210 Case IH. You start off with two of these and a front weight for it. I don't really see why you need the front weight. Um, you start off with another one with the Amazon sewing machine with another front weight. Let's go ahead. Oh, you got a train. You get the awesome Stratman. Wait, no, not the Stratman. The Fiat. That's the name of the trailer. The Fiat 1300. This is a really cool tractor in my opinion. Um, and one thing I like having um, off is the automatic engine start and we're also going to go ahead and turn off the, or turn down the volume because that is really loud. I don't know if it is for you guys but for me it surely is. I don't even think that did anything to be honest. I might have to hit save. Oh no I did. I'm going to go down even farther. Let's go to let's go to 40. Okay there you go. That should be pretty good. And then you also start off with this New Holland TX32. It's kind of an older model. Uh, harvester here. Combine harvester. So It'll get the job done for these small fields. You don't really need a huge John Deere or anything. Um, so let's go through here again. Yep, that's pretty much everything. All right, so you start off with $100,000. So what I think I'm going to do just to help show it off and also because I think it would be a nice vehicle to have, we're going to go ahead and buy the Mahindra Retriever 1000. It doesn't have any customization. I love the new purchasing um screen here that you can actually see the customization and a 3d view of the vehicle before you purchase it uh, I remember in like FS 17 you would buy a certain customization for an item and then you'd, you'd, you'd see it and you'd be like oh wait that's not what I want so you'd have to rebuy it and you would just end up wasting a lot of money and a lot of time um, so yeah this thing looks really cool so we're gonna go ahead and buy this for seventeen thousand two hundred dollars that leaves us with eighty two thousand let's go ahead and swap to that thing and boom, the steering wheel is kind of weird on it. I, I don't know if that's just how it is or they're going to fix that or something. But let's go ahead and turn it on. Sweet. I love how the uh, little shifter there goes up into, well, it looks like it's going up into reverse. But that's okay. Um, we'll just drive this thing back to the field really quick just to give you guys a little bit of a tour of the map. This is probably going to be a little bit of a longer video. Uh, but that's what you're going to get from a first look video, so... Uh, sit back, grab some popcorn, whatever the hell you want to do. I don't care. Uh, whoa, whoa, we, <laughs> holy shit. We done rolled it, but we rolled it back up on the wheels, so that was... You gotta be careful going around the turn on this thing. It's kind of weird driving it, because that steering wheel is like so... Like, look at that. It's so weird. So, it's kind of like bugging me. But anyways, we'll just go into the third person view and just take a look at the map and the, the suspension and everything, because look at that. It looks really good. I don't want to wreck again. Oh my god, I'm about to. Well, it looks like we're bringing home some kind of sign. Let's see if we can get that thing off of here. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and I think I'm going to show you guys the cultivating now. Let's go ahead and park this up here in the shade. That way it don't get super hot the next time we sit on it and burn our ass cheeks. Um, so let's hop up in. The 7210. Very nice looking tractor. I remember... There was a mod for this on FS17 on the PC version of the game that I never got to play, but I really like this tractor. It's an awesome looking tractor, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and crank it up. I'm actually going to turn off the help window because I know all the controls for the cultivators and stuff. I don't really think we need the front weight, but I guess the game gives it to us, so we'll put it on there anyways, and we will connect the um, cultivator. I love the new sounds. They're not all the same. It's not like that little sound like there was an FS17 that every attachment sounded the same a lot of these attachments they have like a different attaching sound but we're gonna come up here and we will actually I think we have to unfold it oh no it is unfolded okay and we put it down and let's go ahead and start Colton you can see the uh, ground uh, I forgot that is the foliage like being pushed over I forgot exactly what that's called I'm having a wait oh, okay I thought it, well, I thought it wasn't cultivating for a second but it actually is all right, so, do you guys have this game? We're going to have a little chat real quick, and then I'll probably time lapse this or just cut through it or something like that. That's probably what there's going to be a lot of in this video, a lot of time lapses or something like that. But did you guys end up pre-ordering and getting Farming Simulator 17? 
If so, let me know, because I've been playing for about an hour and a half now, and I really, really like this. I think I'm going to have a lot of time spent on this game and a lot of videos made, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. Obviously, uh, obviously, I really want a new game to play other than just the Hunter Call of the Wild, because that's like the best doing, like, my views are the best on the game. I obviously have fun making videos of it, but, you know, I would like to have some variety on the channel. Um, so I hope a lot of you guys enjoy these farm sim videos. I'm going to try to do some cool stuff and uh, have a little cool series going at the same time. We might do some challenges and everything. You know I like to do challenges on most of my games, especially the Hunter Call of the Wild. Just doing crazy stuff. Uh, I'm sure we'll do lots of that in this game. So, yeah. Are you guys enjoying this game? If you have it, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And we are missing tons of it, but we will go over that in like once we're once we're done here. I know I'm I have OCD with that too, so if you do, don't worry. Um but I feel like the width on this thing is kinda weird. Like I was going clearly going through that little spot over there and it didn't really cultivate it, but I don't know, I'll probably just have to learn it. But we're gonna do some of this in first person actually. Um just because these dashes and everything just looks so much better. You can see the gas pedal actually goes down and the brakes are actually pressed when I hit the brakes. Which is a very cool feature. We can turn on the lights and everything. I don't think you can see the light button lighting up. Let's see. Is that it over there? Yeah, I don't think anything happens there. But the lighting in this game looks much better. I'll probably show you some bit at nighttime or something like that. Uh, and you'll be able to see that. Oops, and we need to pull that up. Don't want to till up our freaking pathway here. Or cultivate our pathway. Uh, I think I'm going to do one more pass, and then I'll probably sh uh, turn this into a time lapse of the rest of the way. Or I'll probably just cut it out. I have no idea. Um, I'm just trying to show you guys a little hint, a little a little tease or whatever, if you haven't got this game yet. I just want to show you what everything looks like, the new animations and everything. Just trying to do my best here. I've never really made too many farm sim videos, so this is going to be kind of new for me. Uh, learning how to like edit them properly and how to you know, make them enjoyable. So, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and time lapse this or cut it out. I have no idea. Okay, so we are finished cultivating. I think we're going to move over to the harvester now, and then in the next video, we will hop in that sewing machine and that other tractor there and probably sow all of these fields, and we'll probably have to cultivate that one uh, since we're going to be um, harvesting it and, you know, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and drive over to the shed over there. And we'll just back this um, cultivator back up in here. And we'll probably just take off the weight and stuff. I don't know. Uh, we'll just back it up like that. That'll probably do. Let's lower it. And then we will disconnect it. And then we'll also spin around real quick. Let's do some first person action. I really like the first person in this game. It looks like in this game specifically, the FS19, it just looks so much better graphics and everything looks so nice all right and we can actually probably just leave this tractor here won't be needing it we won't be needing it for a little bit and boom there you go let's hop up here in the new holland combine harvester pretty old and fancy looking machine let's go ahead and check out the interior view here pretty nice looking actually um the area meter so definitely looks pretty old to me <laughs> all right so we got to connect the header there and I believe we have to uh, open it up. Yeah, we gotta unfold it. Look at that. It's just like everything looks so much more old fashioned. And one thing I wanna do oh, we got a saving content screen. I have it on, uh, say, auto save like every 15 minutes or something like that. So that's a pretty good feature. I don't even know if they had that in FS17. They probably did, but I'm just an idiot. Um, what was I gonna do? I forgot. Crap. Oh yeah, I was going to turn on the help icon window or whatever. Uh, so we're going to disable straw sloth. We don't want that right now because we don't have a baler. Even though bales are a pretty good way to make money in this game. And I'm pretty sure the chickens are a really good way. So let's, uh, let's stop talking about chickens and let's actually get on with our business here. Let's go ahead and turn on the harvester. Oh wait, no, we got to start the engine first. Alright, fired it up. Let's go first person actually. We're going to go ahead and lower the header. We can actually turn this off now. And turn it on. I love the detail. I love the dust and everything. It just looks so much nicer um, on FS19. 
the dust getting kicked up and just the shadows and the reflections. Everything just looks so much nicer. And you can even see the uh, the airbag or whatever seat. Isn't that what they're called? I think they're called an airbag seat. Something like that. Um, you know, going up and down. I just There's so much detail and I love it so much. Um, I don't think the brake brakes uh, actually are modeled in this. Like, you actually pushing them down. So that's kind of unfortunate. Kind of a little bit of a detail that they probably could have added, but they didn't. But um, that's okay if they didn't because it's still a great game. Oh, it did. I think that's the clutch, actually. I'm not too sure. But it's two pedals together, so I'm pretty sure that is the brakes because some tractors have two together. And I almost shut off the tractor there because I was holding down the wrong button. Um, yeah, we'll go and do some third-person action here because this looks amazing. Look, Oh, the birds just flew up out of the... The freaking, what is this even? I don't even know. Well, it's probably wheat, I'm assuming. I still gotta get used to all the new icons for the new uh, crops. Not the new crops, but the crops, they they have new icons and stuff, like the canola and stuff looks different. And everything looks different, I'm pretty sure. And we're missing a row. That's lovely, always always gotta mess up somewhere. Um, but hey, I'm gonna show you guys, oh dang, this thing is whipping it. Hit that hill right there, a little bump. All right, let's, uh. Go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna put this in a time lapse just because this is pretty satisfying if you ask me and uh, yeah I'll see you guys once we're done Alrighty, so there we go. We have finished uh, harvesting this field. Now we're going to go ahead and pipe this thing out. Alright, so we piped that out. Now we're going to head over here into the Fiat, which has the little grain trailer on it, the timber trailer, whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and crank this thing up. Oldie but a goldie. That's for sure. I'm, I'm so happy they added this kind of tractor. This thing is a beast. It's, well, it's not really that much of a beast. It only goes 15 miles an hour, but uh, 15 miles per hour. But uh, it's still pretty cool. It's a cool truck, little tractor. Let's go ahead and pull up underneath this. Check out this animation. I haven't even seen this yet. Okay, still looks pretty about, pretty much the same. The texture looks a little bit different. A lot different, actually. It looks a lot better. Um, so this should fill up to about 4,000 or something like that. I don't know. the. Co I think the capacity of this is like 12,000 or 14,000 or something like that, this trailer. Um, and then we can probably head over somewhere and we're going to go ahead and sell it. And see how much money we get. It should fill up any time now. I don't know what that thing filled up at. Is okay. So 46.90. I don't think we have a cover for this thing, but we don't really need one. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and check out exactly where we can um, sell this thing. I don't know. I'm still confused on its menus. All right. So the best selling place for. Um, Wheat is the ranch, but it's going down, but it's still $1,100 uh, a liter or something like that. So we can get up to the ranch pretty easily, it seems. We just got to go through some dirt trails, and then, yeah, we'll figure our way out there. Alrighty, so we finally made it off that dirt road. It, was a, it took a little while to get up here because this thing only maxes out at 50 miles per hour. Probably could have connected over to the uh, other, uh, what is it, a case or something like that. Uh, but look at this view, it's pretty nice looking, uh, that nice farm over there. The render distance isn't the greatest on this game, I've realized, but it wasn't ever good in any farm sim. Probably has to do with the uh, graphics on this game that have been totally revamped and look absolutely amazing. So I'm not complaining about the render distance, it probably looks better on PC, but we are on the PS4 if you did not know. Uh, I don't have a PS4 Pro, I'm sure this game looks a little bit better and probably runs a little bit better on PS4 Pro as with any game you play on PS4 Pro. 
but that looks like something there to our left. That's the railroad silo east, and we are going up here to the ranch because this is the highest paying um, little place to dump off this wheat. That way we'll get the highest payout, and uh, maybe we'll be able to upgrade our equipment here in the future. We're definitely going to be working towards that, definitely going to be working towards getting some John Deere equipment because that's what I'm very excited about using. And I'm sure a lot of you guys want to see that and want to get your hands on that yourself if you do have Farming Simulator 19. Um, because John Deere was definitely one of the highly anticipated things about this game because, you know, we've never seen John Deere in any of the Farm Sim games before. And uh, we finally got it in this one. And, you know, that's pretty awesome. All right. I'm hoping we get more John Deere equipment in the future, which I'm sure we will. I would not doubt that we will. Or we won't, anyways. Um... Or will he, actually. Yeah, I said that right. So, yeah, we'll probably get some more John Deere DLC or something like that here in the future. And I'm, I'm assuming since John Deere is in the game now, people will be able to make John Deere mods to put in the game. So, that is pretty nice. Now that we don't have to worry about that. But it seems that we are almost here to the ranch. And I think once we get up there, I'm probably going to head back to the house or the farm. We'll park up the tractor. And uh, in tomorrow's video, or whenever I decide to upload the next video of this game, uh, the, for the part two of the Let's Play, we will probably be sowing our fields and cultivating the one field that we just harvested, and uh, just, you know, planting everything again and doing it all over again, and we'll probably do some bailing or something next time, and actually it looks like we got to pull up here. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this farm is pretty successful. Obviously I want to work up to the big fields. And we got to hold R1 and hit triangle to dump the wheat. Let's go ahead and check out our payout. Too bad the half of my money is off the screen, but that's okay. I'll probably get that figured out for next video or something like that. Um, and we got a payout of $5,305, so not bad at all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head back to the farm and park up the vehicles that we used today, and then probably call it a day. Alrighty, so we made it back to the farm. I think I'm just going to go ahead and park up this trailer, like right here, probably. don't think we really need to bring it anywhere else and we'll probably just pull the Fiat actually we'll just probably just, let's just leave the Fiat here it doesn't really matter where it is to be honest with you it's just an old tractor just a little work tractor we're gonna go over here go over here and grab the new Holland and we'll leave that tractor over there um, because it's not really what well, we're gonna be we're gonna be using it in next video when we are sowing those two fields and probably doing something with this one. I have no idea what we're going to do with this. Probably cultivate it and do something with it. I don't know exactly what we're going to turn it into yet. I have no idea what we're going to turn the other one into yet either. Or the other two. Um, but let's go ahead and drive this combine over here. Park it up in the shed out of the weather. Got to take care of our equipment in this game. Because um, taking care of equipment is the best equipment. So there we go, and where is our Mahindra? There it is. Let's go ahead. Here. Let's go over here and park it up in the near the house, actually, because that's probably where I'd park mine at, just to get around the farm easier. We'll just park it right out front here. Shut it off. Park it up. Boom, boom, and we will head inside. And call it a day. So if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see any more Farming Simulator 2019 on my channel, please let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, you guys, until next time, it's been Risky, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.